we study sleep and circadian rhythms, and circadian rhythms are the body's internal clock. I first got involved with NASA through a project that was funded by the National Space Biomedical Research Institute. Astronauts want to be seen as always being ready to go. So even if they're tired, they might want to say, no, 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 I'm ready to do whatever you want. And if you have a model that says, I'm not going to do well, my self-assessment is not good, this would be very useful. So can we predict, given how long I've been awake, and this particular circadian time, actual performance. If you've only been awake for five or six hours, it almost doesn't matter what time of day it is. It can be at three o'clock in the afternoon or three o'clock in the morning. But if you've been awake for 16 hours, it makes a difference whether it's three o'clock in the morning or three o'clock in the afternoon. So using the model, the flight doc can say, I think that you maybe need a cup of coffee. We should assign somebody else to do something for you. And getting feedback from astronauts and flight docs is really very exciting. Recently, I've had a very talented graduate student flip the question and say, not how well will I predict what's going to happen, but if, what if I know I have to be awake at 3 o'clock in the morning? NASA has something, because of orbital mechanics, that's when I have to do a specific event. When can I time light to make me more efficient and awake at 3 o'clock in the morning? It's very cool working on research related to space. And then to know that it can also be applied to what happens on the ground is also exciting. There are millions and millions of people who work shift work. I'd like to see people use the model to plan so that they can work safely and efficiently. Mm -hmm.